Welcome, collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Highline Series 187 or HO scale Caterpillar 6060 FS hydraulic mining front shovel. This is one of two CAT 6060s that Diecast Masters has released in 2022, and these two machines have been highly anticipated and long awaited for the better part of two years now, and I can proudly tell you that certainly, at least in my opinion, they do not disappoint. Beginning the model review off with the packaging that these machines come in, and because they are Highline Series models, they come in the familiar and collectible metal tin, as you can see and hear clearly there. There is a picture of the machine on the side of the box. The item number in this case is 85650. By the way, if you prefer the backhoe configuration, that item number would be 85651. The top of the tin has a picture of the front shovel at work, and the back of the tin has a picture of the front shovel parked, as well as some machine dimensions, operational specifications, and engine detail. If you are into that kind of thing, please feel free to pause the video right now. When you open the tin, you are greeted with a couple pieces of documentation. The first is the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Catalog. This one is dated 2021, and you can see the extensive lineup of Diecast Masters Cat models, including the two front shovels. The other piece of documentation is a single sheet of instructions which tells you how to place the operator figure into the cab and how to put the cabin roof part on top of the machine, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Once you get inside the next layer inside the tin, you are greeted with a 187 scale version of everyone's favorite builder, affectionately known as Bob and then a plastic mini pointer tool, which can assist you in placing Bob inside the cab. Finally, when you are down to the bottom layer inside the tin of black foam rubber, you are greeted with the 6060 front shovel, and here she is in all her glory. Okay, the, mo the model is complete out of the box, and there's really only one optional bit of assembly that you may want to do, and that is to remove this plastic top piece of the roof and place our operator figure inside the cab, which you can simply do with your fingers or you can use the provided pointer tool. Now here's the one thing about both these 6060 models that can get somewhat tedious. You see, this is the underside of the top of the cab. This is plastic and it also has these very flimsy and quite frankly, very susceptible to breaking plastic knobs. The idea is the roof is supposed to sit very calmly and lock on top of the cab. However, on both of my models, the glass insert is not evenly assembled inside the cab. Thus, it prevents the top plastic roof part from locking in and sitting in. So on mine, unfortunately, the top piece just has to kind of sit on there and it doesn't lock in. That being said, I'm sure that might just be an issue on my two, but just that's something to be aware of if you get one or both of these for your collection. So, that said, with the operator figure inside the cab with the top of the roof put on, your model is fully assembled and ready to be displayed. Let's get into the decals and details on these 6060s. Both of these machines, the decals and details are absolutely beautiful. If you didn't know that this machine was HO scale, you might confuse this for a larger scale model because the detail is right up there with some machines in 150th and 148th scale, including the Cat Modern Hex Design 6060. There is also a very fresh and clean looking cat logo here and a small cat logo on the front part of the stick. Moving along to the back, you can see another Cat Modern Hex logo. These vents on the back, which again are painted and they are somewhat indented so you can stick the pointer in there and it has the illusion of depth with his which is again very realistic that depth feeling the indentation for the venting continues on this side again you have cat 6060 a cat logo all of the hand and grab rails on this machine they are thin to scale but they are plastic Another highlight of the detailing are all of the intricately detailed rubber hydraulic lines, some of which are yellow, others are black, depending on their location on the machine. Again, all looks very good. Also, your connecting rivet points, they are all painted, so they don't stand out and they don't look too obtrusive. 
Your bucket detailing, again, is beautifully executed. You can see all of the wear points and detail on them, including the six teeth that is present on the front of the front shovel bucket. If we look at the excavator from the top down, you can see that there are plenty of catwalks and areas for maintenance that you can pose a figure walking around on top if you want to. More intricately detailed hydraulic lines, more hand and grab rail safety for all the different catwalks, your exhaust for your engine. There's a whole lot to be seen on top of these 6060 models. If we flip the front shovel over, this will give us a look at the detail that is underneath. You can see the track pattern detail with the bolts that can be seen here, and specifically the underside of the bucket detail. That is the detail and decal. Let's transition now into functionality. Okay, for functionality, I already showed you one part, and that is the removable top of the cab if you want to place the operator inside of the cab. But you can also fold down these access stairs, although to note, on mine anyway, the bottom part of the staircase does not touch the ground. However, you can fold it up completely out of service and to here, which is accurate to the real machine. You can also rotate the front shovel 360 degrees. So if you want to display your machine rotating, you can do that with ease. Also, the tracks do move freely on a surface with friction, or you can move them by hand as shown here. Okay, let's get into the front shovel functionality now. Right now, you can see it is in a parked position, so you can see how it would look like stored at the end of the day. But let's do some working poses. To do that, let's bring it up to here, which is as high as it will go. Let's extend the front section out to here, again, as far as it will go. Now, Front shovels can dump their bucket load two different ways. It can, can, it can dump it conventionally, which is dumping the bucket forward. Now mine will only go as far as to there. In the real world, the bucket should be able to discharge at a much more acute angle, meaning that the bucket should go to an angle of about here. But again, on mine, with a little bit of cylinder showing, it only goes to an angle of here. That's not necessarily a deal breaker because in the real world, most of the time nowadays, front shovel machines empty their bucket load clamshell style by opening their bucket like so. And that can be achieved very realistically on these machines. So to simulate a real working pose, while we wait for Diecast Masters to produce an accurately sized haul truck that would be an ideal pass match pair for these 6060 machines, Let's bring in an excellent substitute, which is the classic construction models 187 scale brass Caterpillar 789D. And as you can see, the two are a match made in heaven. So there you go, collectors. That will conclude my review of the 187 scale or HO scale Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 6060 front shovel variation. I have to say out of the two, if I had to pick one, this one is probably my favorite just because the functionality performs exactly as it should. The staircase performs better on this one than it does on the excavator. Again, that may be just an issue on the review samples that I bought from my collection, but that's all I have to go off of when I'm filming these videos. I don't have three or four different samples here. So that said, if I had to choose one, I would choose the front shovel. However, the 6060 excavator or backhoe configuration is absolutely no slouch either. And if you would like to see that review, click on the link at the top of the screen right about here, and you can see a video review on the backhoe configuration as well. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe to us here on Diecast Emporium if you haven't already. Like this video and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care, be safe, be well. I'll see you in the next review.